Are you excited? Yes. Wow. Because up there, you got nothing but mashes. And guys, the tower does face. Three hours later. We are outside at the park right now. Literally, guys, we spent like half an hour just like sitting on the grass, finding good angle just to get the whole Eiffel Tower. Literally, I think, I think we have been here for like three hours already. Currently, it is 12.30 and I am starving. I like, I had like a cup of coffee this morning. So, we're going to find something to eat first and then continue to the um, Shang Alise Street and then take some more photos. Luckily, we are leaving as the tourists is entering the Eiffel Tower right now. So, we made the right choice. Whew. Too many photos, too many videos today. We are heading to eat some lunch. Hopefully, we find a good restaurant. So, as you can see in my videos, some of the street, even like on the sidewalk, are very quiet. That cafe closed, but this one's still open. Um, not only that, this time of the year, it is like the vacation period, but also today's Sunday as well, and they have like some special events. That's why a lot of locals, they are going to the beach because today 32 degrees, everything is beautiful and I assume everyone like go out of the city and swim. But as tourists, it's probably like the best time to like go and explore the city. Even though some of the shops are closed, we can still see the street, it's not too crowded. And as we speak, at the moment, we are walking to McDonald's. Cannot get away to those fast food restaurants. We are stumbling upon a Sunday market. It looks quite nice. But why are they still open? It's like 12, 1 p.m. in the afternoon. Guess what I got? Kid menu. It's actually only courses um, for Euro. It's so cheap. I got drinks, I got some ice cream, I got food inside, plus I got some toy as well. And my cousin, she bought like a burger and then a drink. Cost more than me at 4.65 Euro. Anyway, I just want to give a shout out to my server, our server. She was really nice. Like, you, you don't get that a lot in Europe. Like, well, some of the area, you don't get that a lot to the um, tourists. And she was so nice. She was like, stay here. I'm going to take care of you. And then she prepared our meal like right away as soon as we paid. And then, yeah. So I just want to say special shout out to her. Um, so hungry, so I'm going to eat now. Whoa, look at what I've got for the toy. Can't wait to open it. Eating can wait. You know this game, like when we were kids, we play it and oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Feeling so nostalgic at the moment. Look what I found. Two more. So lunch was great. Um, surprisingly, I got three. I was like, I got one and found out at the bottom of the bag, I got another two. But yeah, so there were kids sitting right next to us. I feel bad, so I gave two of them to um, those kids. Anyway, right now we are walking to Um, Do you know, just some sightseeing. It's gonna take us around 30 to 40 minutes of walking. So just right straight and then turn left a little bit 
anyway, McDonald's here. Surprisingly, the kit option is quite cheap, only four euro. And yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll update you guys when we get there. I have no idea until my cousin pointed out like this is where Princess Diana accident was and it's so bad I think apparently it's happened like under this tunnel or somewhere around here this is quite sad like as you can see a lot of fans have left flowers and other stuff right next there Good car, Ferrari. Amani and Hermes, right there. We have arrived at the Louis Vuitton store, right there. But it's from the back, so you have to go around it. And this one is Kenzo. Right now, we are in front of the store Louis Vuitton, but do you guys see the lines? It goes so far, like right at the back as well, where we came from. Initially, we decided to come here, like, you know, if it's not busy, we're going to have a look. But then, like, when I see the crowd, it was like, nah, I'm, they're not going to get my money today. Plus, like, when I go back to Heathrow, I can have a look there as well, because it's less crowded and a little bit cheaper. Guys, legit, I'm waiting here for like 15 minutes and my cousin's taking photo for other people. Let's go! Finish our photo op. That was quite hard. Literally, we were just like standing there waiting for our turn for like 10 to 20. I think at least 15 minutes. Right now, we are walking toward the Arc of Triumphant and I'm looking for some supermarket to get some drinks because I am thirsty. My cousin said she really wants to go up there, you know, at the terrace, but it costs money. Apparently, one ticket is 12 euro. But since we have been on top of the Eiffel Tower, it's probably, um, the view is probably the same. It's just like right now it is super hot and we don't want to like get really bad at sunburn. We don't want to get burned really bad from the sun. So yeah, so we decided to skip for this one. A few moments later We are inside a supermarket G20 I'm looking for some drink to drink Because it's super hot Vlogging inside a French supermarket as usual Anyone want some wine? Look 5 euros 4 euros Sixteen seven. Oh, after a cold drink, I have re-energized. We bought some tea from that G7 shop, G7, G20 shop. Honestly, right now we have no idea where to go next. So I came up with an idea, why not go to Notre Dame, even though it was burned down like a while ago It still has, you know, the other side of it that we should see And since we're here and it's 3.30 at the moment, we plan to take a metro number one I think And then walk there a little bit and then we can go home just at the right time for dinner
we are on our way to Notre Dame. These alleys are lovely, you know, like look at this one right behind me. Um, there's a lot of cafe, a lot of diners, so you can, diners sounds more American, a lot of restaurants as well, so you can like actually come here and like have a good time. Oh, look at the view right up top. I feel like I was in Eastern Europe all over again, you know, like in, in Czechia or in Slovakia. So as you can see, we are at the back of Notre Dame. This part which was burned down a while ago. This is very sad, guys. Uh, unfortunately, I did not come here just in time when when it was at its glory. But what can you do, right? Uh, we going to walk around this area a little bit and then and take some photos. On my right hand side, it's another side of Notre Dame. Honestly, the fire did a lot of damage. Like, you barely see a lot of, you barely see the old structure of the um, cathedral, which is really sad. Notre Dame on my right as you can see they put a lot of barricades around it so we cannot actually like get close to it to take some photo but we still managed to get some um, good shot of the um, cathedral from afar anyway um Alila <laughs> Alila <laughs> So earlier we came across this lovely Cambodian Canadian lady who came to us because we were talking in Cambodia in Khmer and she was like, are you Cambodian? Are you guys Cambodian? And I was like, yes, can you talk Khmer? And I was like, yes, we can. And then we spent around for what, like 20 minutes just walking and talking and discussing, like, you know, general stuff about ourselves and hers as well. And she was so lovely. She was traveling by herself and right now she is sick so right now like she feels a bit you know homesick and lonely because she's traveling alone and also um she was like can can we go together was like yeah why not so you know just being friendly to one another and i wish her all the best honestly because right now she's trying to find some cool drink to drink to cool herself down and then she's going back to her friends so as we're speaking right now i think we are getting lost um where are we so let them know so anyway we are going back home to my aunties and it's going to be a long ride and it's approximately one hour from here remember this train we took it three days ago actually three nights ago on thursday night after we had dinner with nashville and yeah we did the same process but this time we are going to take it during daytime and arrive at this and arrive at the same train station my arm will pick us up it's been quite a long day she is trying to smile at the moment but in fact she is so tired i keep asking her hey, are you all right and you know what she walked in heels so i do feel for her later that same evening so i always wanted to buy something in france and guess what i just got four baguettes and i spoke French to the seller so that was good luckily they understood my French and we are getting back to my auntie's car we have arrived at my auntie's now thank you very much for watching my video this is a conclusion of signing off and today woke up 8 got there at 8 30 in Paris we had such a great time Eiffel Tower um at the, the Triomphe Champs-Élysées and then Notre-Dame and then we're back here and 
we accomplished a lot. So today is a success. I would say this is my final night in Paris. No, not technically. Tomorrow is the final night because I'm leaving at 9 p.m. But yeah, today is the final dinner with my aunt's family. And yeah, thank you very much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. This is the backyard. Um, this is a tree, the fruit. I don't know what it's called. Anyway, thank you very much for watching my video. I hope you enjoy my vlog. If you haven't already, please click like and subscribe to my channel. Check out my Instagram. The link will be up there and down below. And my other vlog to Egypt, Cambodia, Japan, Indonesia, around Europe. And yeah, thank you once again. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.